today's video I'm going to make my own car stand. This is a really awesome car stand. This one is uh, made by Proline. Uh, fits my 10 scale Yeti really well. It's really for uh, 8 scale cars. Has the shock filling thingies and uh, everything. But if I put this on here and I want to spin it around, that does not really work. Now I'm building my Yeti double XL. It's out of the frame. It's right there on the floor. I want to have a rotating car stand for that one. It does not exist. So I'm going to need to make one. But I'm going to use x -Carb. When is it going to happen? Right now. Uh, after the 30. 3, 34 second long intro video that so much of the people hate and I really don't care. So watch that video and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the Yeti Double XL that I'm building. A lot of you people may be uh, familiar with it. I will uh, put a link to the playlist in uh, the description box below. This is a completely custom, uh, one of a kind, as, at least uh, as far as I know currently, one of a kind car. Uh, two chassis split, uh, connected back together with the help of the X-Carve. Now I do have one problem, I need to uh, button some stuff up still, um, which is going to take again a tiny bit of time because I'm still waiting for some uh, parts to come in. But uh, work stand wise, this does not really, I don't know, this doesn't really do it for me. I want to have something that I can easily rotate the car on. I will. Uh, I will drop it on the floor really quick and I will show you what I came up with. A good way to visualize your idea is just to make a, basically a rough sketch. Uh, so that's also what I doodled over here. I just uh, laid out some parts the way that I think I would need them. I want to have something that's uh, modular, something that I can take apart completely without the need of any tools. Something that's easy to transport and something that at the same time is big enough for me to put the Yeti Double XL on uh, with a rotating platform with some uh, shock filling uh, uh, possibilities. So we will also have six holes for the shocks. You can adapt this design uh, according to your own needs and according to the own size of your car. Uh, in easel there's a link in the description box to the project as it is posted on the inventables.com website this may not make any sense to you basically what i'm doing over here is i'm handing you a complete project i'm handing you uh, all the tools that you need except for uh, the x carve and handing you everything that you need to make your own car stand so you can just go online it's free uh, go online uh, download the drawings make your own car stand from scratch just uh, order the materials in which you want to make it and make your own. Uh, some people may go like, hey, yeah, but Chris, you know, I don't have an X carve. Uh, some people have friends. Maybe you're one of those people, and maybe one of your friends has an X carve. So that's also something that you can perhaps uh, look into. If uh, one of your friends doesn't have an X carve, they don't cost like a ton of money, uh, and I'm really happy with mine. I can I can tell you that much. It's the most useful tool that I have to work on uh, my RC cars. Anyway, enough yip yap. You will go uh, to a few shots in which I machine the car stand currently. Uh, Machining a car stand, I decided to machine mine from a 6mm ABS. ABS is a really nice material to work with, doesn't give you a whole lot of debris. Uh, makes some really nicely finished uh, parts. Something that looks almost like it is a factory finish and that's uh, really the look that you want to go for if you have a nice looking RC and you have for example nice tool bags, nice uh, haulers and uh, stuff like that you also want to have a car uh, stand to match. I also uh, machined out a Hemistone logo on mine. You can just take that logo out, uh, all the files as I posted them, they're just cut files so you can add logos as you wish. I wanted to have something again that's completely modular so I chose to go for uh, some screw containers on the side you can just take that out uh, if you want to and I went for the shock fillers on the other side you can just take that out as well perhaps you could come up with uh, some other uh, bits and bobs that you want to add to your uh, car stand to your platform uh, in this case there's a few different ways to put it together you will see all that uh, as I assemble it it is uh, something that I think is pretty much a very basic design you don't uh, it's not something that you would just uh, be able to use for your RCs. You can use it for a ton of stuff, also for some uh, photography and stuff like that. So I hope you find this useful. 
Now what you end up with is kind of like a puzzle. This is made from one single sheet of uh, ABS. You do not, again, you do not need any tools to put this together. The only thing that I've done is I glued a ring to the bottom of the top platform and I put a screw through uh, the platform that sits right below it. Uh, in a tiny bit this will all make sense. Then there are a few cross supports for the bottom and these parts over here, these wedges, these are uh, the most important parts to make sure that you end up with something that is uh, very stable and very sturdy and uh, something that can actually accept the weight of your uh, quite heavy RC car. Most likely I will fast forward how I put this together or I can just keep on uh, yapping and rambling and talking and uh, try to keep you entertained as I slot all these pieces. Uh, to get it the way that I want them to. You can tell over here, this is basically the top construction. This is very wobbly as it is. So I uh, take this out, I slot these to bottom, uh, well, supports, I slot these into place. You can uh, you can choose if you want to use the shiny side of your, uh, I'm still bad at muting stuff, yeah, the shiny side of your ABS, or if you want to use the more coarse uh, side. I thought a coarse side looked uh, pretty technical, so I went with uh, that one. Uh, the ABS that I used for uh, this project, along with the materials that I used for uh, the entire Yeti Double XL project, uh, all the materials they are uh, bought at the inventables.com uh, website. They have a ton of different materials, uh, everything from uh, plywood to uh, ABS to carbon fiber, you name it. The Delrin that I used for the chassis also comes from the Inventables website. Uh, so check out what you can find over there and I'm pretty sure that they have something that will fit your needs. You will see that uh, this is uh, pretty unstable as it is. That's uh, also where these, uh, uh, what we'll call them keys or wedges, these come into play. So you just basically push those in the sides right there and you do the exact same thing uh, on the other end. I hope this is all uh, uh, logical and that I explained it well enough. So there you got it. This is one really solid construction right now. Uh, this is the screw container that I was uh, talking about, uh, which just slides in the side like that. And then on the other side, I chose to keep the more slick side up just uh, in case I spill some with uh, filling my shocks. Uh, this part you can slot in right there. If you do not use it, you just take it out like this, flip it around and you can basically uh, attach it to the inside of your car stand so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And then you have the top platform on which I glued that uh, ring. It just fits over the screw like that. It spins around like that and uh, I also added some uh, IKEA furniture protection uh, knob thingies to make sure you do not scratch up your floor just to make sure that the car doesn't slide off when it sits on top. I can hear you wonder does it actually work? Let me get the Yeti Double XL. Drop it on the top over here, spin it around for you a few times so you know that I'm not making this up. Well, I hope you found this useful. There you have it, how to make your own uh, rotating DIY car stand uh, from a few simple materials. Not hard to do at all. You can, uh, you can just go ahead, adapt it to your own needs, uh, add the accessories that you want to have. You can also, if you want to have these uh, platforms a tiny bit higher, you can choose to drop this platform down. Uh, to the middle and then hang them in the top slots you know you can just get creative and uh, you can do whatever you want go check out uh, the drawings on this project on the inventables.com website there's a ton of cool projects over there i think it will also give you a really good idea of uh, what you can do with uh, the x-car from not being paid to say cool shit about uh, this machine it is just a really cool unit and it enables me to do a whole lot more uh, than just uh, sitting around with uh, regular wrenches and uh, making out of the box uh, stuff and uh, I don't know, just standardly accessorizing uh, my stuff. This really allows me to think outside the box, create my own gear, create my own accessories and uh, I don't know, just uh, add a whole new dimension to the hobby. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the box below. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like because that's always appreciated. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to have more info about the X-Carve, I have an entire playlist of uh, X-Carve videos 
which you can check. I'll uh, post a link to that below. And if you want to have more info about uh, the Axial Racing Yeti double XL that I'm building, uh, also go check out links in the description box. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Bye bye.